Hello everyone. In this video we're going to take a look at auger hopper alignment. As always, please make sure to be safe and lock out tag out while doing this procedure or any other work on any machine. In preparation for the alignment, we need to eliminate some factors that could throw the adjustment off. First, we need to make sure that the hopper coupling and everything that gets held in it is clean. This is very important because everything needs to sit flat in order for the tooling or aligning plug to sit straight. We also need to make sure that the parts holding the hopper coupling to the hopper bracket are clean and sitting straight. There are some critical mechanical connections that we need to verify in order to make sure that the alignment is a success. Here you can see that I'm snugging the thumb screws that hold the hopper down. And I'm also going to put a wrench on the hand knob just to make sure it's good and tight. Next, I'm going to make sure that the bolts that clamp the hopper bracket to the column are tight as well. Now we're going to move to the hub that mounts the drive head to the column. There are two bolts and two set screws that we need to make sure are tight here. Next, we can move on to the front of the drive head. You'll need to remove or open the access panel depending on the model of auger that you have. Once inside, we want to ensure that the drive coupling is tight. Then the flange bearing, then the connection between the main shaft and the adapter shaft. And it's also a good idea to check the servo bolts. Uh, that hold the servo down. If we take the side panel off, we can access the bolts that hold the drive head to the drive head mounting hub to make sure that they are tight. So now we'll move on to the alignment procedure. The alignment is going to be shown without a hopper in place for better visibility. We will however have a hopper ring installed. This ring normally gets welded to the bottom of the hopper. It's important to note that the hopper or hopper ring must be installed when performing an alignment or it will not work. 
And here you can see the hopper alignment plug and rod which are needed to do the alignment. We've gone ahead and installed the hopper alignment plug where the auger funnel usually sits. Again, we made sure that the seating surfaces were free of any debris before doing so. As you can see, this is an example of an improper alignment. The alignment rod does not engage the adapter shaft. So we loosen the coupling with the two bolts that hold it in place and make sure that we can move it around. Then we tighten it back up just snug so the surface of the coupling and support are held completely flat together. When this is done with a hopper in place, the most effective way to do this will be to tighten this connection just enough that a tap from a dead blow hammer to the coupling will move it around. This ensures that the surfaces are held flat and a tapping adjustment will hold until you tighten the bolts all the way. You want to make sure that you don't accidentally tap one of the thumb screws because that will destroy the thumb screw. As you can see, when the alignment is correct, the alignment rod slides up into the adapter shaft with very little resistance. Once you've got the alignment in a good place, you can go ahead and tighten down the screws that hold the hopper coupling into place. And then, once everything's tight, we just want to go ahead and test that alignment once again, just to make sure everything's all good.